The tribunal was established in 1993 to deal with some of the worst atrocities that were being reported from the war zones at that time, from Bosnia and Herzegovina and from Croatia. The Security Council set it up and placed it in The Hague as an international ad hoc body, temporary body, because uh, the local judiciaries were unable or unwilling to deal with those crimes. Uh, we have had to devise a vast number of procedures to carry forward our work in an expeditious and fair manner. So that's at the procedural level. At the substantive level, um, we have um, developed international humanitarian law at the tribunal. The advances that have been made in substantive international humanitarian law are by and large due to the work of the tribunal. So, since 2003, uh, when the completion strategy was devised, for the tribunal it became much more important to work with the local judiciaries, to strengthen their capacity, to be able to deal with war crimes cases, and also, at the same time, and as one of the first steps, uh, to transfer some of its own cases from The Hague, from the tribunal, to the courts in Zagreb, Sarajevo and Belgrade. OSC participating states have committed themselves to the rule of law and fair trial, and our office order is mandated to assist them in meeting these commitments. For the states in the Southeast Europe, the main ambition, the main goal is European integration, and the quality of their handling the war crimes trial will be essential in achieving this objective. The project, which is 18 months long, and uh, implemented by the ISTY together with ODEA, OSCE and UNICRI um, is funded by the European Union. We have been supporting prosecution, sending their experts to ISTY to work with ISTY for a number of, of, of months and years. Now we have another project, which is this new project that has been developed. It's 4 million euros that we're investing into this uh, project to actually transfer capacity, expertise, knowledge in the procedures, in the handling of the uh, different technical tools, because actually ISTY is going to close down in a few years' time, and all the work, all the burden of delivering justice will fall on the domestic uh, courts exclusively. Among um, the activities to be highlighted from the project, and there are 14 of them in a total, is um, the production of at least 60,000 pages of the transcripts in the local languages, developing the curricula on international and uh, criminal and humanitarian law, um, building the staffing capacities of the prosecutors and courts uh, uh, in the region, as well as uh, developing uh, the knowledge of the defense lawyers. These were all components that were identified as part of the uh, assessment that was done in the region by the judges and the prosecutors and defense attorneys who are going to be responsible for prosecuting these important cases. A key aspect of this project and of the research phase which preceded it was building close relationships with the justice actors and institutions throughout the region. The research that we undertook helped map the capacity gaps that are facing the judicial and legal actors in the region. We also asked those local actors to help us prioritise their needs. And one of the priority issues that they signalled to us was the need for legal support staff. We responded by making available a team of young legal support staff, analysts, researchers and legal experts, to assist the judges and prosecutors in handling the war crimes caseload. Out of 12 members who were hired by the Serbian War Crimes Prosecutor's Office, roughly half of them, well basically exactly half of them, six are trained lawyers, whereas the other people come from the field of humanities or social sciences or media science. The reason to do so is exactly because war crimes prosecution is a sort of a highly specialized field of activity and it crossed the minds of the prosecutor that one needs interdisciplinary expertise. The prosecutor's office came to realize that a lot of accomplishments of the ICTY, or the Hague Tribunal, was actually exactly embedded 
in different non-legal expertise, which was of immense help to the prosecutors' teams in different, uh, in different cases. Therefore, there was will and understanding that such expertise, such in-house expertise, would be extremely beneficial in the Serbian War Crimes Prosecutor's Office. We paid for these 12 young people. These are people who have been through a lot of treatment, because they have been in the first place. They are the best. To se već vidi od samog početka, od samog njihova starta, oni su prepuni entuzijazma, kao što sam rekao, prepuni su adrenalina, ulaze u predmete, prisutno su istragama, ispitivanjama, koje su vrlo delikatne ispitivanja, koje su nismo bili u zatvorima. One other advantage of this project, to my mind, is not only uh, establishing and gathering the interdisciplinary expertise. Uh, there are a couple of more advantages that need to be stressed. Uh, for instance, uh, one might speak about the necessity to integrate uh, young professionals, particularly young lawyers, into the work of this office. Having in mind that war crimes have been committed between 1991 and 1999, it is very likely that processing of these crimes will take decades, if not decades. One of the ways that this project is helping a lot in order to do so is that this project is assisting in training these young professionals. It wasn't only about enabling War Crimes Prosecutor's Office to integrate them in that work, it was also about uh, enabling these people to get constant training. Um, the training of legal professionals um, is being conducted in close cooperation with the ODR office and the OEC offices in the region. We we'll offer um, uh, tailor-made training to the legal staff, supporting staff as well as professionals all over the region in uh, specific components of the ICTY uh, court records database. Other activities we will be focusing on in providing our support and training is uh, offering assistance for sections which deal with uh, victims and witness uh, uh, protection and assistance. Also included in uh, one area of focus is peer-to-peer uh, -peer meetings with judges uh, where they share experiences and their expertise. There are at least two important respects in which there is equality between the judges of my tribunal and the judges of the national judiciaries. First, um, we are judges, so there is naturally a fraternity. Secondly, we are judges doing the same work. We are trying war crimes. It's really natural that we should have exchanges. We have an experience which is different from theirs, and they have an experience which is different from us. Ono znanje i iskustvo koje posjeduje Haški tribunal može koristiti svim sudijama u svom radu i smatram jako bitnim i neophodnim da sve sudije koje učestvuju u procesu jednog primjera ratnih zločina se na adekvatan način upoznaju sa iskustvom i svim onim pozitivnim stečenim znanjima Haškog tribunala i jako je bitno dakle da smo u prilici da vršimo razvoj iskustava ne samo na području Bosne i Hercegovine već i sa kolegama iz Rijeka jer razvoj novih iskustava samo poboljšava kvaliteti procesuiranja primjeta ratni zločin. One of the key elements of this project is the production of uh, transcripts of trials that were held before the tribunal. The local prosecutors and courts needed the transcripts in the local language, in the language that was understandable to them, in order to con conduct their own investigations and processes before their own courts. We uh, listened to audio tracks, to selected audio tracks of ICTY court hearings, and we transcribe. We make verbatim transcripts. So what we hear is what we transcribe. So the variation of languages is going to include Bosnia and Croatia and Serbia. These transcripts are very important. We have a However, because we only have received enough funding for maximum of about 20% of the overall uh, transcripts that we could make, we have to prioritize really carefully and we do that indeed with the 
liaise and direct liaison with the uh, counterparts, with the judiciaries in the region, who have um, given us, in a sense, input on what their needs are, what the priorities would be, and we are um, adjusting our list of priorities in, in order to meet their needs. We are engaged in a number of activities that will greatly assist the local judiciaries in following on from our work, and that is in, in continuing war crimes prosecutions at the domestic level. This will bring significant benefit to the local judiciaries. It will greatly assist them in undertaking their work, but will also help to cement the legacy of the ICTY. So it's for those reasons that we are so supportive of this project.